Hello, I'm Mike Levin from Mike Levin SEO, and this is the Groby Project in GitHub and part of a pretty long YouTube series on a playlist with videos going out in both directions. So if you're joining in the middle, there's some catch-up to do to understand the context of what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, we're at a point in this program where line one of a spreadsheet is scanned and turned into a dictionary of dictionaries so that as it, it continues processing these rows, if it encounters something like a question mark, it can tell whether it has the required parameters for executing the function and returning a value. But unlike previous times I've done systems like this, we're working with lists mostly instead of dictionaries. So as my system is going to step from cell to cell, it's going to have a concept of index position. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not going to have name value pairs. It's not going to know param1 is spam, param2 is eggs, function1 is question mark, function2 is question marks. That means my dictionary of dictionary can't use function names from up here or shouldn't use. It can. I'd have to add another layer of lookup library stuff. But if I want to strip away lookup library stuff, I actually want the key in the key value pairs to be column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, and not the names of the functions. That's a long way of saying that when I go back here and I drop in the key, this should not be the function name as the key. This should be the column number. And so how do we get the column number? There's no counters or anything here. But remember, uh, whenever you're stepping through members of an object, you have the option to enumerate. And when you use the enumerate function around your object, you get to put in something that has a number, rodex. For rodex, comma, function name in enumerate a row. And now this is the very Pythonic way of doing it. In most other languages, you'd have to establish some sort of counter or something, but that just makes things tough to look at. So let's see if I can actually just put row decks in here. And that should pretty much be it. As opposed to the last time we ran this, when the uh, outer dictionary keys were function names, the outer dictionary keys should now be numbers. OK, uh, key error func2 on line 55. Yep, Rodex. See if we got it. Perfect. The only thing I see wrong is it's reporting row number two and row number three, where I think it should be uh, three and four. And I probably should make it uh, string indexes now. I guess I'll keep them numerical indexes for the use here. This is different than the shelf use of dictionaries. So I hit put enter and um, for row decks, I should probably, let's see if I can do plus one up there. No, it doesn't like it there. Row decks plus plus. Each time it encounters that, it should add one to it. I think my thinking is correct. 
doesn't like that. I'll just do it the old fashioned way. Row dex equals row dex plus one. Hate to do that after all that time avoiding counters in the first place to expose that sort of thing, but I do need to shift that number up by one. Yep. Column three and column four. That's more like it. Jump out to the shell. Get commit. And what is this conceptually? Changed F name keys to column numbers. Hit push. Exit. Okay, and uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, we're really close now to, uh, let's see, what are, what, what are we actually at right now? S setting the stage for executing the function that's being named. As we scan across the lower rows, recognizing a question mark, getting its requirements, executing that function, returning the value. And uh, talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.